Hilong-hilong ka na ba? Dahil mat hirap ang lessons nyo. Mat dali lang yan. Mag-subscribe ka lang sa channel ko at malalaman mo that math is fun. Hi everyone! Kumusta kayo? I am Chris Lay and welcome to my channel. Una sa lahat, gusto ko magpasalamat sa lahat ng sumuporta sa first vlog ko. Thank you so much for watching. Salamat din sa mga thumbs up na binigay ninyo at sa lahat ng nag-subscribe sa channel ko. At kung ikaw na nanonood ay hindi pa nagsusubscribe, mag-subscribe ka na! I-click mo din ang notification bell para ma-notify ka every time mag upload ako ng isang video tutorial about math. Kagaya nga na nasabi ko sa ating unang video, ang topic natin ngayon is about factors and multiples. If you are interested, please keep on watching. First, we are going to discuss about factors. Just like what you are seeing now on your screen, factors are numbers that we multiply together to get another number. Mas maiintindihan natin ito sa pamamagitan ng mga halimbawa. Our first example is 20. What are the factors of 20? Ano-ano ang mga number na kapag minultiply natin together, ang magiging sagot ay 20. Twenty times one equals twenty. Therefore, twenty and one are factors of twenty. Two times ten equals twenty. Ang ibig sabihin, ang two at ten ay factors ng twenty. Four multiplied by five equals twenty. Therefore, four and five are factors of twenty. All in all, we have twenty, one, two, ten, four, and five as factors of 20. Our next example is 40. What are the factors of 40? Ano-ano ang mga numero na kapag minultiply natin together, ang magiging sagot ay 40. 40 times 1 equals 40. Ibig sabihin, ang 40 at 1 ay factors ng 40. 2 times 20 equals 40. Therefore, 2 and 20 are factors of 40. Four multiply by ten equals forty. Ibig sabihin, ang four at ten ay factors ng forty. Eight times five equals forty. Therefore, eight and five are factors of forty. We have. 40, 1, 2, 20, 4, 10, 8, and 5 as factors of 40. Our third example is 16. What are the factors of 16? Ano-ano ang mga number na kapag minultiply natin together, ang magiging sagot ay 16. 16 times 1 equals 16. It means that 16 and 1 
are factors of 16. Four times four equals 16. Therefore, four is a factor of 16. Two multiplied by eight equals 16. Therefore, two and eight are factors of 16. So we have Sixteen, one, four, two, and eight as factors of sixteen. Our fourth example is eighteen. What are the factors of eighteen? Ano ano ang mga number na kapag minultiply natin together ang sagot ay eighteen. Eighteen times one equals eighteen. Ibig sabihen, ang eighteen at one ay factors ng eighteen. Two multiply by nine equals eighteen. Therefore, two and nine are factors of eighteen. Three times six equals eighteen. It means that three and six are factors of eighteen. All in all, we have eighteen, one, two, nine, three, and six as factors of eighteen. My last example is 51. What are the factors of 51? Ano-ano ang mga number na kapag minultiply natin together, ang magiging sagot ay 51. 1 times 51 equals 51. Therefore, 1 and 51 are factors of 51. Meron pa bang ibang factors ang 51? Oo, meron pa. Seventeen times 3 equals 51. Ibig sabihin, ang 17 at 3 ay factors ng 51. All in all, we have One, fifty-one, seventeen, and three as factors of fifty-one. Binigay ko talagang halimbawa yung fifty-one. Kasi most of the students, kapag nagkakaroon kami ng discussion about prime and composite, kapag binigay mo ng example ang fifty-one, inaakala nila na prime ang fifty-one. Kung hindi nyo alam kung ano ang prime and composite, sa next video ko, ayun naman ang topic na i-discuss ko. So watch out for that. Now, we are going to proceed with the discussion of multiples. Multiples are what we get if we multiply a number by an integer but not a fraction. Paano ba natin mas lubos ang mauunawaan ito? Sa pamamagitan ng mga halimbawa. Our first example is 3. What are the multiples of 3? If we multiply 3 by 2, the answer is 6. Therefore, 6 is a multiple of 3. Three times 10 equals 30. Therefore, 30 is a multiple of 3. Three 
multiply by 12 equals 36. Ibig sabihin, ang 36 ay multiple ng 3. Hindi lamang 6, 30, at 36 ang multiples ng 3. Pwede rin 15, 18, 21, 24, at marami pang iba. Basta, imumultiply mo lang ang 3 sa isang integer at ang magiging sagot ay multiple ng 3. Our next example is 10. What are the multiples of 10? Ten times five equals fifty. Ibig sabihin, ang fifty ay multiple ng ten. Ten times ten equals one hundred. Therefore, one hundred is a multiple of ten. Ten times seven equals seventy. Therefore, seventy is a multiple of ten. Pero kagaya ng halimbawa ko kanina, hindi lamang fifty, one hundred, and seventy ang multiples ng ten. Pwede rin twenty, thirty, forty, basta kahit anong number na i-multiply mo sa ten, ang magiging sagot ay multiple ng ten. Our third example is 8. What are the multiples of 8? 8 times 3 equals 24. Ibig sabihin, ang 24 ay multiple ng 8. Eight multiplied by five equals forty. Therefore, forty is a multiple of eight. Eight times four equals thirty-two. Therefore, thirty-two is a multiple of eight. At kagaya uli kanina. Hindi lamang 24, 40, and 32 ang multiples ng 8. If we multiply 8 by 2, the answer will be 16. If we multiply 8 by 8, the answer will be 64. Basta magmultiply ka ng isang integer sa 8, ang magiging sagot ay multiple ng 8. Our fourth example is 2. What are the multiples of 2? 2 times 2 equals 4. Ibig sabihin, ang 4 ay multiple ng 2. 2 multiplied by 10 equals 20. Therefore, 20 is a multiple of 2. Five equals ten. Therefore, ten is a multiple of two. Pwedeng twelve, kasi two times six equals twelve. Pwedeng one hundred, because two times fifty equals one hundred. Basta kahit anong integer ang imultiply natin sa two, ang magiging sagot ay siguro multiple ng two. Our last example for multiples is 15. What are the multiples of 15? 15 times 2 equals 30. Siyempre, alam nyo na. 30 is a multiple of 15. 15 times 4 
equals 60. Therefore, 60 is a multiple of 15. Fifteen times three equals forty-five. Therefore, forty-five is a multiple of fifteen. At syempre, tulad ng kanina ko pa pinapaalala, hindi lamang thirty and sixty and forty-five ang multiples ng fifteen. Kapag nakaisip kayo ng isang number o ng isang integer na minultiply nyo sa fifteen, ang magiging sagot ay multiple ng fifteen. So, that's it. Kung naunawaan mo ang factors and multiples, dahil sa video na to, bigyan mo naman ako ng isang thumbs up dyan. At ishare mo na rin ang video na to para makatulong ka rin sa mga kaibigan at kakilala mo. Kagaya ng nasabi ko kanina, our next topic will be prime and composite. Kaya kung hindi mo pa nasusubscribe ang channel ko, i-click mo na ang subscribe button at pwede mo rin i-click ang notification bell para ma-notify ka every time mag upload ako ng video about math tutorial. Magkita-kita tayo sa susunod sa panibago na namang math dadiing lessons. Thank you so much for watching!